get an insight as to what is really happening to both characters and why both characters are acting the way they do. Hello and welcome to my side of the internet. I am Kamadi Eccentric Diva and on this channel we talk about writing, books, publishing, sex and sex education. If you are a first time viewer, welcome! Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you and for all my returning subscribers, thanks a lot for clicking to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Your likes are welcome. Please like this video so that we, you know, jump the algorithm and other people get to watch this video. And yes, without much ado, I'm going to be sharing with you. You can feel my excitement, right? <laughs> I'm always excited. But yeah, I'm talking book and I'm talking my book. So I want to share with you the characters in my book, Gaga Crazy. I want to share with you you know the characters for you to meet them just like i've experienced them in the past few years <laughs> like a lot has happened <laughs> so it's a dual pov book and if you don't understand like um writing lingo um dual pov means you're seeing it from the guy and the girl's perspective which is my favorite form of romance books because i don't just want to see how one person is reacting or behaving to somebody's actions and reactions i want to see both paths because humans say something and mean something else just like mania believes and yeah with that being said <laughs> the two main characters in these books are Manir and Zoya. Now Manir, should I start with Manir or Zoya? Guy, girl, guy, girl. Let me start with Zoya. Zoya, 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 Zoya. Because Zoya is actually the owner of the book. I started the story writing Zoya's perspective and then she meets Manir and then the story goes on from there. But because I'm looking at it from my screen, let's see. I'll start with Zoya. Zoya's character card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Zoya is in her mid twenties. I think she's 25, 26 ish. I've noticed that most of my female characters are always within that age range. I don't know, maybe because that's the space my head is in right now because that's my age range as well too. But she's in her mid twenties and she is a confirmed Lagos babe like 100 percent lagos babe so yeah so yeah is a confirmed lagos babe and she's an omo get inside so if you don't know what omo get inside means omo get inside are those kids that you know their parents tell them don't play go inside the house you're not going out you don't stay out like they have curfews and all that their parents would i say so yes parents loves her that much yeah he does he does love her and he has made some mistakes in his life but yeah She's an Omo get inside, but she's pretty stubborn. She does her own things her own way. Everybody knows that she's stubborn. You're going to meet her at some point. You'll be like, what is your problem? But yeah, you love her. She's an endearing character. She's loyal. She's fierce. She would fight for you. If she was your sister, you would always love her 247 every day. And yeah, she has a younger sister called Zina. Zina is like, I don't know if she's the same with Zoya, but zina is more butterfly but she only does that with people she's close to like her sister and then chiluba that's her sister's friend and yeah back to zoya zina has her own story <laughs> um zoya zoya started a career in an architectural firm in the uk she studied in nigeria went on to uk to do her masters and while doing her master she interned and started working in some places i did a lot of research like calling friends speaking with architects in nigeria outside nigeria to get this thing right because there's this stuff called ppe so she came back to lagos and she wants to start like a career afresh in nigeria so you have to pass this exam as an architect to be recognized and to also be given the opportunity to if you want to start up your own craft to go ahead and do it so that's like a seal a stamp and approval from the government saying that this person is qualified to design buildings that would not <laughs> cause um collapse that would not collapse if little breeze just blows it so yeah 
so that's one of our struggles in this book trying to get our pp all sorted after you know solving all that in uk and coming back to nigeria it's like you're almost starting afresh trying to prove yourself you started low as a junior architect doing the jobs of senior architects because it's office politics it's office stuff the senior ones are always going for meetings or stuff like that and the junior ones have to you know take up their job she's mentoring others she's she's just so ambitious she's proactive and she she has time for a relationship life she really wants to like start up a relationship but because of the work-life balance being an architect and also being a female it was stressful for her but she tried a lot that even a former relationship before she got into a new one with mania the main character in the story like the other male character she she felt like she was giving it a lot and the other person wasn't giving that much so yeah and then one last thing about zoya is that she enjoys sharing about that day with a faceless online friend friend who is mighty man <laughs> so yeah and obviously mighty man is Mane. and let's move on to Mane, my favorite guy i've been getting reviews from like first readers and they're like wow mania is my favorite character i don't know like i feel when a guy reads the book maybe they'll fall in love with zoya more <laughs> but from the ladies so far they're always like ah zoya but mania oh my gosh because they, they can sympathize more with him but yeah mania is in his early 30s he's a nigerian but he's a globe trotter is into like lo um real estate but mostly into the real estate um mostly into the luxury side of things oh i didn't mention something about zoya so i posted it on my instagram and it's about like inspiration behind zoya and this inspiration didn't even come until after i had finished writing the book and i was ready to start uploading it and i saw Tosin Oshinowo. she's like a top nigerian architect and i watched some of her interviews on bbc and i'm like ah, this lady should not come to me and tell me that i wrote a life story in the book <laughs> but yeah Zoya and Tosin Oshinowo, like I feel I can see them sinking as the same person. So yeah, back to Mania. So yeah, Mania is a globe trotting luxury realtor and is a successful businessman. Obviously, it comes from like money from like a good Lagos family, but the family has also been through their own before they got to where they are right now. And is part of the beard gang. I just don't want to put too much about him here because I want to put you in a bit of suspense when you read the story. So yeah, I said it's a beard gang. I don't think he did it intentionally because all those type of things doesn't move money, doesn't concern him. But me as the author, yeah, he has birds. It's a beard gang, and he loves chatting with his um online confessor he calls zoya whose nickname is queen zo is confessor that's like their cute name <laughs> for like this the, the series for the book so that's that about manier so manier has a lot of demons chasing him that he himself is unaware of until later in the book i started building that up so you can also see it because initially you'll be like what is happening here but later on you start getting insight as to what is really happening to both characters and why both characters are acting the way they do that being said i hope you are interested in finding more about these characters because now i'm going to read out the blog to you i think you should be able to see it on the screen i should be able to put it up here so it says it's impossible to have a male bestie and not have sex with them a viral tweet leads to an online friendship between junior architect Zoya and charming elusive Manier. It becomes a virtual show that she cries on regarding her love-aid relationship with Lagos until a bout of food poisoning erodes their first real-life date. And then the tagline is Mania Dosu Andrew thinks he can remain chaste until marriage but he's got to think again so let me just give you a little bit of spoiler here <laughs> this book is gaga crazy and it's crazy with all the things these people want and don't want 
Zoya and Mani find out that yeah, we've met in person, we like each other. I want to date you. Do you want to date me? I want to date you. But if you're going to date me, we have to remain chaste until we say our vows. And Mania is like, yeah, no biggie. We can get married tomorrow. And she's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> read Gaga Crazy to find out more. But that being said, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Have you read Gaga Crazy? Do you mind helping me share and spread the word out? I really, 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 really appreciate that. So on to the next video. Happy reading. Stay jiggy. Stay jiggy. Stay jiggy jiggy. Stay jiggy jiggy jiggy. Uh, 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 uh.